Amen, amen, amen. We give God the glory, honor, and praise. We thank Him for life. We thank Him for His promises and the purpose of God concerning our lives. Father, you alone deserve all the glory. I thank you on behalf of those who get a chance to connect with me online and through this page. I ask that you will help us, that you will strengthen us, that you will sustain us and support us. There is no God like our God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. Let's share God's word together. How are you, by the way? I hope you're doing well. You know, something, I have something special to announce maybe next week somehow. So stay tuned. You see those powerful flyers that I use for the, um, the verses. I'm making converse versions of them where you can physically hang them on your wall. So anytime I post your face and you like it, you can let me know and then you can request a canvas. It's not that expensive at all. It's less than even $20. You can have one to support the ministry and also for yourself. Keep it on your table so that anytime you look at it, the verse will speak to you. Amen. And I will also encourage you, if you have nice pictures of yourself, you want me to use, you can send it directly to me. All right. God bless you. Let's get into God's word. The flower phase that lives with her, but the word of God abide forever. All right. So I'm reading from a classic scripture that you probably are familiar with. Um, in the In the book of Genesis, there's something profound here. The Bible says, then God said, let us make humans in our image, in our likeness, that they may rule. Amen. So when you look at the entire verse, it says now, then God said, let us make man. Let us make man. We'll talk about that today. Let, actually, the verse says, let us make human beings in our image, in our likeness, so they may rule. Amen. And the contrary say, rule over the fish, rule over all of the things that God has made. All right, so that's what we're going to talk about today. I want to talk about the key to ruling your world. The key to rule your world. If you're going to rule your world, there's a key here that is in this verse that we're going to kind of find it together. All right, so this hopefully is going to be a very short podcast. Now, it's fascinating that God specifically says to Israel, Behold, Israel, your Lord, your God is one. You know, so there's this the unism. I hope I'm saying right, but the fact that God is one, right? And here, you know, we are introduced to a very interesting phrase, which is Elohim in a plural form, and it says, "Let us make man now in image." Now, some theologians believe that he was speaking to angels, but that cannot be because angels were never made in the image of God, so to speak. So he's and so the early fathers believe that he's speaking to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. But I will visit that. But he says, let us make man in our image and our likeness so that they may rule, right? I want to talk about the key to rule your world. The key to ruling your world. That's what I want to talk about. Now, once you look at this verse, I don't believe it's an accident that God uses the plural version of himself in talking about creating man uh should i go there let's not go there let me go this way to rule your world to rule your world you have to play the part of the image of god that you got let me say it again to rule your world you have to play the part of the image of god that you got because god presents himself as plural he is as many as all the creation he will create god is as many as all the human fingerprints that will come into existence so every human being is a particular facet of an image of God with a uniqueness that only you bring to the existence in time. So God is so complex in his plural form that every human being will capture a particular aspect of him. And so every person is now 
supposed to carry a God part of him to to kind of let us see a side of God that we wouldn't see if you are not born. And so understand that you are born to reveal a particular aspect of God in his likeness that only you carry that unique aspect of God that can only be expressed in you. Now, to rule your world, your world must be that particular unique aspect of God that God plays in you alone. So, think of it this way. If we only see God, we have to see every human being because everybody bring a piece of that bigger picture. That's why you use the word plural, which is let us, as in let us now download ourselves into more flesh and blood and let them carry the many aspect of who we are so in my interpretation i'm taking the let us to another level which is not just the trinity but the multifacetedness of god the complex uncountable size of god I used to say like this, that the reason the angels don't get tired of saying holy, holy, holy is that every time they bow and they get up, they see a new side of God they've not seen the, the time they went down. So there's so much in God that it takes different people to be able to capture from generation to generation to capture what God, I mean, who God is in totality. And even we can't, Time and eternity cannot capture the vastness and the the versatility and the the size and the 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 the, the, the wisdom and the give things and all of that. All right. So with that said, here is really what I'm trying to con- convey today. Not everybody rules their world because as soon as you do not pursue that unique God touch that he created you for. And you start looking at what others are doing and you start doing the same thing. There's no way you can rule your world. Do you understand? When you copy people, you can never rule your world because that originality has been given the right to rule. God gives the right to rule only to those who are original. God gives the right to rule to those who are authentic. So the fastest way for you to lose the rule is to copy other people. So the journey to self-discovery and knowing the unique person that you are, that is how you end up ruling your world. So God has placed something in each and every one of us that is uniquely an identity that only God is and he has placed that in you and only you can display that aspect of god and if you explore that then you begin to rule your world do you understand that so ruling your world has to do with identifying that god given passion gift and desire that god placed in you which is a representation of an a facet of himself you understand my message now so the bottom line is that there's no way you can rule your world if you are not leaving your world and your world is the portion of god that was given to you it would take the whole world to reveal god and there's a part of god that was given to you when you were coming to this life and that part is what you have to explore and grow that's why people say you are in your element. You are in your zone. You are in your thing. Do you understand? And so, looking online and looking on social media to see what you can do will never cause you to rule your world. It must first start from your inside. That which God placed in you, an image of himself that he placed in you, that is original and authentic once you get that then you go online to search for how do i polish and embellish this grace on my life this gift on my life you understand that so you can't rule unless you start from the top it says god said let us so rule start with us 
Do you get the picture now? So there must be a part of you that belongs to the us. And that part of you, you must now polish it to look like both your image and your likeness. And then you rule. Do you, understand? Do you, understand? Do you see the, 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 the steps now? You have to pick a part that is part of the image. The plural image. And then you become like that. And you act like that. Then you rule like that. Amen. So if you are going to rule your world, what you must understand is you have to create the world that God gave to you before you were born. And once you sit in that world, then you have no choice but to rule because only you can play that world. Amen. So I want to, I just want to discourage you from looking around and start looking on the inside. And some of you are, you are so broken on the inside. So that is a painful journey for you to really look at your passions, look at your, your shape, look at what you are built to do, look at what is really the part of God that you got. Sometimes through abuse, through uh, all kinds of painful background, you have just thrown away your very desire away and you're just paying the bills with whatever comes. But I'm praying for you that the rest of your life, you will just begin to pursue the passion that is in you that makes you rule your world. So you will never become a second hand. You will never become a photocopy of anybody. But you're going to be the original, authentic self. Let this message be a beginning for you to explore the need to rule your world by first discovering the world God gave you, which is a part of himself. I hope this helps you. Father, we thank you that you always give us instructions and helpful things to turn our heart and mind into where we'll be fruitful and fulfilled. In Jesus' name, amen.